That got destroyed before with that door. We didn't repair that from the tortoises. Hang on, who's our melee blockers? I gotta get, put them in a better spot. Cougars are here, run! We are back to the Rimworld, hardest difficulty, 5% losing is fun, bow only run. We're only allowed to equip bows. We can't even use mortars. Uh, we are into late game and today, I hope to at least be building the ship. If we build it fast, maybe we'll even launch today. The beginning to mid game of this run was very difficult and we almost lost many times, but actually it's going a lot easier in the late game. Shouldn't say that, but it's going a lot easier in the late game than I thought it would. Turns out having like 40 bows shooting at things all at once Armor penetration doesn't matter as much because you're just literally weighing them down with arrows, right? They're just, just blotting out the sun. Starting to switch was the turning point. I think so too, yeah. For anyone that doesn't know, if you have a, a sunblocker event spawn off map, you can't have another non-quest problem causer spawn off map. So not only did the sunblocker give us a bonus, but it it's protecting us from other worse things that we would have a hard time taking care of. We have darkness precept. We have um shooting specialist and we have the shooting gene and we have like masterwork bows so our accuracy is kind of nuts as well i really have been shocked of how much damage we do and we can still lose there's still things that we could lose to we haven't had a mech cluster especially a big one in a long time um i really thought about going into bionics but i don't know if i want to take the time i don't know that we need it it would help bionic legs especially we'll start making them after we uh like as we're building the ship you know so as we're like preparing other stuff, we'll make the ship. We'll get the walls up around it and then I'll set bionics to make. We'll make whatever we can while we're like stockpiling food and other things for the ship launch. Kind of would like to get another Neuroquake, but we've been pretty unlucky about that. We have one and it was a natural rolled one. Hey, the, the children, the children are out. The children are out. We're gonna have to get new names now. Chaos Lobster, Pal something. I'm gonna go with Pal. Shrin. That's how those are pronounced. Oh, right. I want to try to spawn some bugs too today. Forgot about that. Best way of farming massive amounts of steel. Your map is running out. The best thing you can do is get to... It's a deep drilling and ground penetrating scanner. With those two, you'll have infinite steel. So you want to try to get to both of these before your map is out of its own steel in a normal playthrough. If you've gotten to the point where your map is basically out of steel and components, but you haven't gotten to either of these researches, then you can either trade for it, although it's pretty heavy, uh, or you can caravan over to another map, settle it, mine some steel there, and caravan it back home. Those are your, your two best options, but yeah, these two are what you really need to get to. Ground Penetrating Scanner is going to just keep finding nodes forever. Uh, it's a research job, and then you can use Deep Drills to pull it out. So for example, I grab this and... Oh, I have them off. Hang on. I'll give you an example in just a second. Like, we have hundreds of thousands of steel on the map, including lots really close to home. Uh, and you just keep pulling more and more, more steel out. Uh, yeah, also, make sure you are smelting things. If you if you aren't already, you can smelt like a bunch of the metal tribal stuff or the pirate weapons you're not using or you know, tainted uh, metal apparel that, thing, that enemies are using. You know, metal slag on the map, you can smelt that as well. Try to get that little bit of steel we need to get those other things made. Uh, how are we doing on the uranium anyway? I think we mined... We mined none. Yeah. No, we, we had some, but uh, apparently we used it all. So, suppose I'll go grab some uranium. I know we have some nearby. Yeah, there's some right there. Yeah, there's some even closer. We'll, uh, we'll throw that in there. And then I think I'm going to try to plan for a bug infestation down south. It sounds weird. <laughs> it's like you're trying to say something about like an STD or something. You don't. I got a bug infestation. Where? Like in your kitchen? No, like, like down south. Oh, oh, oh. So I think I'm going to try to get the bug infestation here. Hopefully there's some overhead mountain in there. There should be. There should be. Down south like in Alabama? <laughs> no, just normal south, not the deep south. I got an infestation in the deep south. I don't know. That one sounds about right, too. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and let them do this. It's going to be dangerous. Gonna be dangerous, but I think if we can get an infestation down there, it'll help with the launch. Is there lore why they only use bows? No. <laughs> we were joking about how they just never thought to use anything else. This th this kills just fine. Why, why would we worry about anything else that kills when we already found something that kills?
Uh, yeah, we'll put some doors on this. We're gonna really try to get bugs to spawn down here. This should pretty much do it. Oh, what's happening? I forgot to put drugs in here for him though. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, I gave it. I put the mushrooms in here, but no drugs. Now I need to leave this open for a little bit. Whoops. Don't worry, caterpillar. We'll get you some uh, some drugs administered. I like that it's an operation. Can you go operate on caterpillar? Yeah. What does he need? Like uh, he needs one of his legs replaced. Like we've been doing on a lot. No, you just need to pour this tea directly in his mouth. I don't think that's considered surgery. Oh, it is. It is. Yeah. See, it worked. Good as new. Now I can go back to his little shack. Caterpillar is so weird. He just lives over here by himself in a little hut away from the colony, eating raw mushrooms, drinking tea. Doesn't go anywhere else. Brutal. Out he's even upset that he's outdoors. Oh, well, I'm so sorry. Wait, wait, wait. No, I can't do that because we we like this. So we're going to have a bad time. There. Yeah, if there's a heat wave, he's going to have a tough time. I should probably give him a cooler as well. Crap, he's getting all this stuff over here. Living the high life in his little shack. In his little aesthetic shack. What do you do for a living? I'm a target. You work at target? No, I am a target. I don't know what that means. It has begun. That's a nice ship. What's wrong with my ship? I said it was nice. Launching the table chairs, yeah. <laughs> no, I will move that. Breach. Ooh, that's a, that's a bigger old breach. Max ray point breach is 5,000. It's a tribal breach, though. We should be fine. Max roll um, breach is 5,000. So that's a high Randy roll. All right. <laughs> it's so crazy how, how many arrows we shoot, just how accurate they are. It's a mod that shows you raid points, visible raid points. Visible raid points. Hey, no kill box. Yeah, they, ma they made one for us. Yeah, that's crazy. Hey, they made it. I didn't make any kill boxes. <laughs> Pretty satisfying to watch. It is, yeah. I don't, it's like some kind of room world ASMR or something. That's so crazy. That was 42 great bows, mostly masterwork, with high shooting skill on everyone. Crazy. It was a really tough road getting here, but I'm actually really surprised at just how good... Uh, this is, which is, I, I mean, almost any long range weapon is going to be good with this kind of stuff going on, you know, to be fair, like you give all these bolt action and it's even, it's going to be even crazier. Uh, you know what? We'll just pull the rest of this plasteel. Screw it. Do you think chair could beat ship launch on losing is fun? If I was able to set everything up ahead of time, I think I could, I think I could do it. I think I could do it. I actually think I could do it. <laughs> no drugs. All right, we only have three OG pawns, so I think that's the three I'm going to send. Three chosen and one of those. Yeah, we never found the fifth one. Really sad. I wonder if I miss them at some point. It's very possible that we killed them or, you know, they, they became a world pawn. So it's possible that we've killed them or they've been in a trade group. I I used all capitals on the name in part so it would be easier to see them if they came along. But I'm just going to protect it with these walls. And then uh, when the time comes, we'll open it back up. The one run, I, I usually, I always do this, and then one run recently I didn't, and we almost lost, lost the ship launch right at the end. Was that the RNG run? Where a group of Neanderthal made it all the way to the ship and got it down to like 3%? <laughs> yeah, that was, that was crazy. The one time I don't wall off the ship and it happens. Yeah, I always do it too, and I was like, ah, I just won't do it this time. I just don't feel like do it, and then, bam. Regretted it almost, well, not immediately, but regretted it very soon after. Birthday, Nico, the ripe old age of 25. Got an asthma. Man, we're getting big Randy rolls. Oh, no. What is it? It's all scythers. Uh, scythers are actually no problem with this run. We can literally just melee block them. Like an infinite amount of them. Guys, I'm actually kind of curious. Do you think we can just beat that group out in the open? I mean, if it gets really bad, I just use Berserk Pulse. Let's go. <laughs> Uh, overconfidence something something. All right, let's turn on Marksman Command. I actually think we might can do it. That is so crazy. 
We have a jogger, right? We have someone with uh, bionic legs. There we go. Mouse. They have Arcotech leg. <laughs> so crazy. Oh, man. Oh, crap. Sorry, mouse. I don't know, guys. Uh, that one's going to try to destroy the the drill. 50 caliber great bows. It's really nuts, man. It's really nuts. I can't believe how how much firepower you have with these bows. Wait, every volley. Yeah, it's it's really an insane amount of firepower. I'm actually really shocked by how. Well, I thought mechs would be a really big and they still will be probably. Like that. To be fair, it was just all melee scythers, but. The only damage we took was from friendly fire. Well, and Mouse got a couple of hits from a Scyther. That was because of friendly fire. Uh, not the kind of infestation that I was talking about. So, according to the advice I got earlier, we shouldn't run everyone that's nearby here to fight these bugs. We should just leave only the couple of miners on those drills and let them die. And that's a better strategy for some reason. But I, I'm not going to try it. Maybe next time. Or Mouse. Oh my god, where are these high rolls? Tag immediately. Get in, get in. Randy is uh, out for blood today. Hopefully that's not a sign that ship launch is going to be high rolls the whole time. We've had more high rolls than not today. And hey, where are you going? Are you going to end up surviving because you're going to be trying to destroy a conduit or something? <laughs> hey, where are you going? Uh, there's something outside I need to burn down. It's It's... It'll help us in this raid. You guys continue on through the the 300 degree box. I'll be right back. I'm I'll I'll be there. Oh my god, he is coming back. He's actually gonna make it in time to burn to death too. I think. <laughs> Immediately takes damage. Uh, uh I forgot to turn on the oven. All right, are we building up our drugs for launch? Not really. We have 10. This is, uh... Something's about to actually... Uh, I'm going to have to change drugs for a second. We're actually... We have to get this fixed before I can do the ship launch. I was really thinking we were, like, right at it. Which we, we're still pretty close, to be fair, but... We're going to have to turn this down every four days for now. Got to build up the uh, drug stockpile a little bit again. But yeah, our people have psychite dependency. So, not only will it be a mood hit because of high life, but they'll literally start dying without it. So the reason for this long wall is basically when normal raids spawn here, we have time to set up. They're going to have to run all the way down and around it and get destroyed by um, creature raids, but again, just something to set up that can be handy for launch while we get our drugs built back up. You are going to get really unhappy real fast. What an aesthetic paradise. Beautiful, really. Very long outdoors. So you're not going to have to worry about that anymore. The disturbed sleep, on the other hand, maybe. Because they just like being in a crappy area, right? So, wait, what's the quality of this room? Hang on a second. It's decent? Uh-oh. Hmm. I've made the room too good. Get rid of two of those chairs. There we go. That's... It's now awful. Okay, there we go. There we go. Are people coming in your room to watch the TV? They are. There we go. Aesthetic has an awful bedroom. It's the only TV in the colony. They, people come out here to hang out in this shack. Let's clear the work zone from the TV. And from that chair. There we go. The bears because they don't count as a personal bedroom. Yeah, the greedy, greedy doesn't... Or, uh, jealous doesn't care about this. Greedy would... Greedy cares regardless, right? They, they Greedy just wants an impressive uh, bedroom. But jealous doesn't care because this is considered a barracks as well. Uh, place an ID in case someone else tries to tries to watch. That might be a little drastic. Oh, I didn't get to see what that was. Infestation. Hey, it happened where we wanted it. Nice. There we go. 
person that asked if we get infestations. I don't know if you're still there, but here you go. Is there a way to get consistent architect legs? The only thing you can do without mods is go out and trade and uh, or go to ancient dangers. All right. All right. We got it where we want it. A little bit of a low roll, though. So that's why you deal with mechs. They outrange your assault rifles. Only a few mechs outrange the assault rifles. So it depends. Do you want to do a classic kind of kill box or do you want to deal with them without a kill box? Because the answer is very different between the two. And a manhunter as well. Without a kill box, you want to build a double or triple thick wall around your entire base. Put doors really often throughout. And there's two ways you can go about it from there. You can either wait till all the mechs are attacking different segments of wall and then jump out with your people using whatever guns you have and maybe an EMP. Kill that one or two, uh, th those couple mechs that you're really close to next to the door and then pop back in and keep doing that out different doors. So the kind of guerrilla tactics where you just pop out and kill a couple and pop back in is super, super safe. I really went after that. The other is you outrange them. So the only mechs that you are going to um, run into, that can be a problem that you don't just initially outrange. Oh my God, what? Why are they attacking that one? Did someone go in that one? Are going to be uh, pikemen and then the special like boss mix. Nothing else you're going to either outrange or be the same basic range of. Pikemen's aren't too deadly if you have armor. Yeah, I wonder why they attacked that that time. Someone must have been going through there. They're not supposed to do that unless they saw someone or something go through a door. Maybe maybe someone was down there when they spawned or something. The door seemingly randomly. You don't know what caused it either. Yeah, it's really weird. Really odd. I didn't pull the dogs back though, so I'm gonna guess it had maybe something to do with that, but yeah, I don't know. None of the dogs are training anymore. That's okay. We're gonna... Throw them into some doomsday rockets, probably, anyway. You're gonna do what? What can I lose to at this point? Lost things, yeah. Big mech cluster. Excuse me. I can't use EMPs. I can't use mortars. So, big mech, mech cluster would be terrible. Uh, we almost lost to an all-sniper siege. We could do that again. Um, explosive pirate breachers would still be really, really terrible. Yeah, there's quite a few things. God, and Rainy is being really active prepare for a while oh god what okay wait close it what is going on randy <laughs> it's like playtime time is over you're not gonna do the ship events i'll just send you all the raids anyway is there anything that could make you lose this run doesn't seem like it all right bears we need you to do some really heavy lifting all right too bad it wasn't a big bear roll this time. All right. Oh, bears are going in. They're melee locking the front lancers. They're getting shredded by 14 centipedes. If they can melee lock everything, they might have it, but there is an Apocriton. Oh, if they kill the Apocriton, it's going to do the AOE stun, and the bears might actually pull this out, but they've got to kill the Apocriton really soon. And they need to melee lock the others. Come on. There's eight, but the Apocriton can jump. Is he going to do it? Bears. Come on, bears. Wait, is there another group? No, it's the same one. There we go. They got the stun. That's your chance, bears. Swarm, swarm. We got really lucky with the bear spun. <laughs> Where the bears come from? It was a manhunter event. Oh, the stun has worn off. There's apparently a war queen that I didn't see. I know they're going after the bugs, but it's going to cause its own problems. Nah, you know what? It's too late. We should have third partied when the bears were there. Bears did some work, but there's still 11 centipedes left. We are going to have to go kill this after the bugs are defeated. Oh, boy, boy. Brett not being the third wheel. That's right. All right, bugs. Can you succeed where the bears have failed? Maybe there's a lot of bugs. That's a lot of centipedes, though. 19 hive. Uh, it's a war zone? Yeah. Insulting spree. 
Hey, you gotta stay in there. What's wrong with you? You're hungry. Recreation unfilled. Unfulfilled. Field, that's right. Excuse me, you have a TV. You're the only one with a TV. The bugs have them all melee locked, so they're probably gonna win. Thank goodness for that infestation and the bears. Jeez, man. Now, the problem with this is any bugs that are left damaged, every time they get, take a tick of damage, they're going to start coming to the base. So we will probably have to go clear out the bugs themselves. Or we can just burn the ones that come up here, but going to keep yo-yoing them over and over. For that, the bugs won. Wasn't even really that close either. There's a lot of injured ones, though. Uh, they're yo-yoing back. Hopefully there's none that are going to take real bleed damage because if they do, we're going to have to worry about actually going out and dealing with it. But so far it looks okay. We could cull the actual bugs. The hives are going to repopulate them pretty quickly. We are still not doing well on T. Here we go. We're so lucky that we had the infestation and the bears, honestly. Like that mech raid looked pretty friggin' scary. Well, now we're out of bugs and look at that. We're down in drugs. Are we really gonna have to get another? Let's get with the armor's hard. Yeah, well, the great bow has the same accuracy penetration as an assault rifle. The only thing is that the great bow shoots less often, you know, bigger warm up, bigger cooldown, and less bullets per shot. But with this many, 43 great bows hitting is kind of like 15 assault rifles hitting. So it's actually not too too bad, right? Because we have so many. And our actually is almost, almost perfect with all this stuff going on. We could have had cataphract armor this run. We've seen the cataphract tech prints like three times. The first couple times, to be fair, we, uh, we had no way to trade for it. It's concrete ASMR time. You know we're getting it to ship launch when it's time to pay over what's left of nature. <laughs> it happens every run. You come into a stream and your question is, how close are we to ship launch? And we haven't paved over nature in the immediate area around the base. You know that we're not quite there yet. But if you see concrete everywhere, pretty good bet that we're about to leave this planet. But Adam, there was already flagstone there. Pfft, flagstone. Who needs flagstone? We have the loving embrace of concrete. By concrete, movement speed. It's the cheapest way to increase movement speed so we can get to places faster. It's going to be pretty important during the ship launch. And we're waiting on more drugs to come in anyway, so... Here we are. Getting rid of what's left of nature. Yeah, normal soil uh, of any type has movement penalty. But concrete is full movement speed, along with just floor in general. So to be fair, any of the flooring you can build really like this is going to give you speed. But concrete is just the fastest, cheapest... And all we care about is the extra movement speed so we can get to the threats more quickly. Let's go check how many hives there are now. The bugs have reproduced quite a bit already. We're back up to tw 27 hives. Ship launch prep. How are we doing on the drugs? 53. Yeah, I don't know. We're kind of... I mean, if we break even with the drugs, that's fine. But we can't run out during ship launch. We're going to have a real bad time. Our people have psychite dependency. 30 hives is max. There's no max. They'll keep. They'll keep going. On the transhumanist run, we had like 117 hives on the map. Unless it's changed, I could be wrong, and they, they might have ch changed it, but there didn't used to be a max. I know 1.4 changed a lot of stuff with infestations, though. Um, the initial hit of the bugs got halved. So the initial hit used to be 40 hives at max rate points, and now it's 20 without Randy's roll. But yeah, in the transhumanist run, but that was 1.3. We had like 117 hives built up. We'll keep an eye on it. If it stops at 30, that's completely fine. It's not going to limit how many bugs spawn in anyways, so... Yeah, I don't see it anymore, so... I think you are right. It stops at 30 now. The bugs will keep going, but highs will stop at 30. Works for me. It's interesting they decided to do all those nerfs to bugs in 1.4. You can still get higher amounts from quests, though. We've seen some quests that are like... 80 hives, but that's, that's a different thing. Usually the reason that the developers... Uh, limit how much of something spawns is for performance reasons. So I think the whole reason they nerfed bugs was to make it or, or was for performance reasons. I guess your game doesn't slow down too much from, from bugs in a normal playthrough. Uh, so for anyone that doesn't know, 
I get asked this sometimes where they're like, wait, how do you have so many specialists? The only specialists that are exclusive, like you only have one uh, or, or number limited like that is not really a specialist, but the role leader and moral guide. Those are the only ones for specialists. There is no limit as long as they meet the requirements, like the stat requirement. So right now, while drugs are getting built up somewhat, we are turning all of these vat-grown soldiers into shooting specialists. It's going to be the most shooting specialist I think I've ever had. Well, maybe the first Arco Nexus run. We had almost everyone as well. Kind of crazy how good our shooters are. Imagine this run, but with actual weapon or guns. Like, there, there's definitely nothing that kills us. We could just stand our ground. Aside from maybe, like, Doomsdays. But, <laughs> well. Gotta be having a psychic binge. Hey, you go have a psychic binge in your hut. That means I have to go open that. There's no psychic down there. Yeah, well, I want a jelly too. Side casting. Side casting is pretty good. Magic. <laughs> All right, well, Caterpillar gets to live. Thanks to super clotting and skip. Why did he even break? Probably recreation deprived. Because he has high expectations, so just the TV and uh, this game is not enough. I was nearly clawed to death by giant bugs, and I'm kind of bored as well. But yeah, we had restricted him to that room entirely because he kept going out here and being upset that he was out outdoors. Confusion. Why did you replace my leg? It was perfectly good. It didn't seem perfectly good. How do you maintain a cannibal colony without getting raided all that too much? Um, my advice if you're playing Cannibal is probably play against Cassandra so that you're going to have one to two major events every 11 and a half days so it can hedge your bets. If you do get to the point where you have no uh, Cannibal you know, or human meat at all, you can go out and raid if you really need to. Kill traders uh, in a pinch. Of course, you just eat other stuff and take the mood hit for a little while, but this, uh, preparing for this is actually taking longer than I thought it would today. Might just... Uh, Start it right off that tomorrow. I mean, there's a lot more stuff we could do to prepare, but I don't think I'm going to worry about it. Like, pretty much just whatever we can get done while we're waiting. We are still good on gold. We're good on steel. I have some uranium. Drugs are good. I don't know if I want to do a cycle of beer during this or not. We'll probably just save up Psychite Tea, and maybe we'll have enough to do one a day on everyone. Um, 40. Oh, no. 12,000 point mech raid. Oh my god. Launch is gonna be something. 20 blaster centipedes and other stuff. And a poker time. Go, bugs, go. Get after the poker time. Yes. No, it jumped. It'll stun them. Trust me. Come on, insect. Bugs are going to win easily. If they go after that Apocriton, they would definitely win immediately. They almost have everything uh, melee blocked, and it's all Blaster Centipedes, so... Just need one of those Apocriton to die. This is box art battle here. Getting this infestation is the best choice we've ever made in this run. Come on, get the stuns! Come on, man. Kill the Apocriton. What is going on? Those things are so tanky. And Bo's Pierce mech armor? Yeah. Our bows have the same armor penetration as an assault rifle. It's just that it shoots much less shots. Nice, they got the first stun. Get the other Apocriton. Almost everything's melee locked, aside from this one. I think the bug is still going to get it, though. Want to third party that? Uh, no, probably not. <laughs> not this time. Hey, they got the second stun. Yeah, I think the bug is going to have this. It's a little dirty out there. It's a little dirty. Yeah, all right. Bugs are finally in the last couple down. What did they take down? They took down 20 centipedes, a war queen, two apocriton, and some other random stuff. Maybe two war queen, actually. How many survived the bugs? Um, Not a whole lot, honestly. So it was almost an even match. 30 hives of bugs versus 12,000 points of, of mechs. Pretty evenly matched. Oh, man. Getting that infestation has been the best decision this run so far. Alrighty, I think we're going to do the split stream and we will launch the ship after, uh, 
Our room, we're back to RimWorld. So, ship launch itself, the prep has taken longer than I thought. So, that'll have to be on the next exciting episode of Adam Ball Z. Let me see if this or anything else happens.